We were very pleased. Students showed us at the end of a senior secondary course of study what they really did know and could do in their language. They showed a strong competency in terms of being able to proceed through an exam in a, you know, in a clear logical order. They controlled the space. They made good decisions about how they wanted to proceed with the paper and um, we were very happy with their performance. One thing that I would really encourage all students to think about is how to work procedurally well in an examination. Last year we had some students who you could see were working at a you know, very um, carefully and procedurally. So if those students did things like highlighted the key part of each question and also noted what was the intended response language of that section. What I would say to students is when you have the exam in front of you, go to the front page of the examination for the general languages and there will be three sections in that examination. As a student in the exam space, read what is the response language for which section of the paper and when you then open your examination book, check that again. It just will allow you to be able to be entirely sure that procedurally you know what you're doing with that examination. Additionally, in languages when there are audio stimulus, students get to control how often they listen to that audio stimulus. So, that should give a student confidence that they have some control in the examination se session as well. Those three sections of a general language paper can be done in any order. A student can decide how they would like to do them. So as a student, before the exam, think about how you might like to proceed with that examination. So another really important piece of advice I would give students is to think about how to explicitly scaffold your response. If you're in an examination and the question is, for example, who is the intended audience of this stimulus and provide three pieces of supporting evidence from the stimulus to justify your response. Make sure as a student in the examination setting that you answer the question about audience in the first sentence of your response. Your supporting evidence just comes in the sentences after that. Uh, that we saw that last year as being something which was a really effective strategy for students to put in place. I would also encourage all students to make sure they have engaged with the papers from 2020 and not just the paper for your own language. If you are a student of the general languages, there are six that you can look at and that's really good for you to do because you can see the patterns of questions and also the sections of different papers across the suite. The other really important thing though is also to go to the external assessment marking guides or EAMGs, your teachers may have called them. They show you how a response is marked. So as a student, by engaging with them, you will see what is valued in your response. And again, that should help you to feel confident in the examination space. Please, as a student, make sure you do seek out the resources that will help you in terms of external assessment. First of all, if you go to the QCAA website, you will find the general syllabuses for each language. You should open that syllabus, you should have read the section about external assessment in that syllabus because it will show you exactly what the specifications and conditions are for your assessment. Near that document, you'll find a series of links that will take you to some really important resources that will also help you. You'll be able to find external assessment from 2020 and you'll also be able to find those marking guides that I was talking about. The other thing that is there that is a really valuable document is the subject report from 2020. And as a student of language, you should see the feedback from 2020 about the external assessment process and examinations from last year. There's some great advice in there. The final place that you should look is on the MyQCE website. What you'll find there are the subject guides for 2021, which give you, again, some support around knowing what is expected on each day for each examination, but there's also links from there back to other external assessment documents.